and welcome back to Creative Glam. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the cleaning and restocking of my refrigerator. First, I'm going to clean the refrigerator out, purge all the things that need to go, and then I'm going to run over to the grocery store and do my weekly grocery shopping, and then I'm going to restock the refrigerator. The cleaning portion is something that I try to do once a month. I usually wait until um, most of the items in the refrigerator have gotten low or are ready to go to be purged. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, most of the items are gone. It is definitely time to re-up and go to the grocery store. So I'll do that too after I clean the refrigerator. Oh, but if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content that I post. I'd appreciate it if you left a comment and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. leftover barbecue ribs. My olives are just about gone. Uh, guacamole. These are some of the things from my charcuterie board uh, that I always keep. My caramelized uh, pecans. And up here is where, if you guys see me do my last uh, refrigerator clean out, this is where I keep my salad dressings, my package, you know, that you get for, with your takeout. I have so many of these, but they are going to be purged.
come back from the grocery store, now I'm going to restock my fridge. Let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out. And make sure you follow. I got my um, I got my breakfast tortillas 
to make my uh, I got tortillas to make breakfast burritos I've got my charcuterie cheeses that I use most often uh, again that beef bacon if you're looking for an alternative to turkey bacon uh, and you want that same texture and, and taste of a pork bacon give this a try uh, this book it's, it's a beef bacon by uh, God Shawls they sell it at Wegmans it's really good I recommend it um, I have my corn tortillas back here for when I make my tacos I've got some um, blueberry is it blueberry I'm a blueberry Philadelphia cream cheese and then I've just got some sliced American cheese down here at the bottom I've got some leftover barbecue sauce from where we grilled I've got some hot cauliflower I've got some bottles of water and some uh, lemon juice concentrate mustard strawberry jam mayo hot sauce I use the Louisiana crystal um, I've got some red hot buffalo wing sauce I've got some Heinz ketchup and and up here I've got some uh, margarine that's not the one that I usually use uh, this is a Wegmans brand I usually use the um, Linda Lakes uh, real butter and olive oil but this is the same thing it's real butter sweet cream olive oil and sea salt I've got some green goddess juice which my family loves uh, we've got another uh, we got some estancia water we got some water we got some sweet tea which we drink a lot of and we mix it with the uh, simply lemonade blueberry juice I got some milk some creamer I got some eggs and some melon I got my um, chunky blue house uh, my chunky blue cheese uh, dipping sauce I don't use it as a salad dressing much I use it more for a dipping sauce I've got my guacamole for my avocado toast uh, there in the back I got my maraschino cherries which are awesome with sundaes ice cream sundaes and then I've got some uh, gourmet pasta sauce I've got my frappuccinos I love these things they're not very healthy for you but occasionally I will indulge and have a um, Starbucks frappuccino I've got some salad dressing here I've got some Panera Caesar I've got some uh, Amore oh, this is another Caesar dressing I like them both I like Panera Caesar salad and I like the one that uh, Wegmans does they make this one their salad I also have one from Olive Garden which is the Italian dressing I love that one so I either do Caesar or Italian I've got some steak sauce here and I've got some sun-dried tomatoes down here for those of them that like the sparkling water I have some buble strawberry sparkling water and I also have in here Pellegrino my husband and I uh, like the Pellegrino sparkling water and the kids like the Buble sparkling water um, and then in here I have some lemons and there I have lemons and oranges and lettuce oh and I start and that's where I started <laughs> okay so that's it I'm all done Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the cleaning and restocking of my fridge. I hope I was able to spark some inspiration for you to get things done around your home. If I did and you like this type of content, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and I'd also appreciate if you hit that like button. As usual, I have linked a couple videos at the end of this one. Click one to see more home decor and DIY by Creative Glam. All things home with Sharon. See you next time. Bye.